What's going on guys? So today we're gonna do nothing more than to well read my daily comments and I say daily comments because these comments I get them every single day um, I don't know like what to say about it. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good You know what I'm saying I mean, it's giving me engagement and helping me get the views, but I got a lot of things to say All right, so with that being said, let's read these damn hate comments because I don't even know what to fucking get started I'm gonna be honest. All right guys First one on the list, uh, it was about a week or so ago, I made a video about Noah Beck scamming, like, you know, people on TikTok with this app simulator, blah, blah, blah. If you guys want to see that video, I'll fucking put a stamp to every single video I talk about the comments in, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, in that video, there's this guy who, he got triggered. Uh, his name is Bernie Farrell or some shit like that, and he's like, Crew Statics, shut the f*** up. Stop hating on people's grind, you ugly f***. This is why you don't get women. Because he knows my life. He knows if I get women or not. So like, I mean, shit, you know, he's right though. I gotta give him that. Uh, I am ugly. But you know what? I can admit it. I'm ugly, motherfucker. What do you got against me now? Because I call it out already, all right? When you call something out, they can't say shit to you. Oh, he keeps going. It doesn't stop there. So, I, uh, you know, I, I reply and I'm like, I'm not hating. I specifically said I don't have hate towards the guy. And this is what I... This is a big pet peeve of mine. So, uh, a lot of times, a lot of times, in my videos, I kind of, uh, you know, I disclose certain things that I feel like people will comment on already to begin with, like saying, like, listen, I don't have hate towards the guy, I don't dislike him, it's just, you know, prioritized towards this and this and that, it's specifically for this, there's no personal hate, nothing. And then the person will immediately, 30 seconds into the video, da -da 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 -da, just fucking start keyboarding their ass into the fucking, you know, comment section and be like, you're this, you're that, you're this and that. Dude, calm down. Anyways, so I was like, I'm not hating. I specifically said I don't have hate towards the guy. I just think it's a little unfortunate we have keyboard warriors like you that instantly get offended. Am I wrong? No. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's fucking hilarious. He replied back with a huge paragraph. You know how it goes. And he replies saying, you are hating on a TikToker who is trying to make money. I can imagine they pay well. You would have done the same if you had the opportunity, so don't lie to yourself or let your jealousy get to you. And that brand should be respected as there are probably people who work very hard to create their own hustle. Now, it, it's, it's people like these, you know, like they go to the above and beyond, like, okay, no shit, they're hustling. I mean, they're fucking knowing what they're doing if they're out here being like, Noah Beck, you gotta sell our product, brother. You're gonna get us some sales. Obviously, they're probably good salesmen. I'm not fucking denying that, and I do respect their hustle. But at the end of the day, look at what they're hustling for. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem. And I'm not hating, I'm not jealous. Uh, I, I feel like that's like a, you know, a number one, like an A1 fucking comment that I always get. And it's not just on my channel, it's anybody's channel who's slightly controversial when it comes to talking about certain topics such as the shit I talk about. They think, like, you're jealous and, like, I don't know, like you envy the person. I don't hate these people. Dude, I follow Noah Beck on Instagram. I'll literally pop it up for you guys right now. Like I like the guy, I don't have a problem. Uh, that's how I found the TikTok to begin with. But I just call it out of what it is, you know? Even if you're my friend, I'm gonna say what it is. I'm not gonna tell you what you wanna hear. I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear. Just say it first, Greg. Just fucking say it. I don't even need to say it anymore. So yeah, then I reply to him again and then I stop replying. I don't even need to get into that shit. But there's also somebody in that comment section who I swear to, like, I swear to God, I am so amazed and I literally cannot believe this person said what he said. It shocked me. It really did. So his name is Lolo Lopez. It's in the same video. He says, you're stupid, bro. It works like this with that emoji. Where the fuck? I don't even know what you call that emoji. I thought he was joking because... Who in the hell, like, an eight-year-old would know that this is a joke, that it doesn't work. So then I reply back, I'm like, I'm gonna hope this was a joke. And he's like, not a joke, you're for real tripping over nothing, like, you're trying to get views. I mean, obviously I'm trying to get views, if I'm making the video, it's for a specific reason, but I'm also calling out a specific purpose that needs to be called out. So brother, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And then I said, I feel bad for you, brother. And I do, because... To have that mindset to think that an ab stimulator works. I pray for you. That's all. Oh, this is an amazing one, guys. I don't know if you guys remembered, but about a month ago, I posted a YouTube video talking about this huge controversy that blew up on TikTok for me. Got 
I think at this moment it's like 1.6 million views. It's fucking insane. Uh, and you know, it was about like James Charles, him DMing me about a year ago, blah blah blah. Guys, I just, you know, thought of that TikTok. I thought it would be funny and cool, whatever the fuck. And I posted it and there was a lot of good and a lot of hate out of it. And it was uh, just, just a lot of everything on it, okay? I made a video about it, clearing up everything, talking about how it went down, like everything, right? For all the questions that people had. Um, and this one, I believe this is a female. Yeah, this is a girl. This one female in particular got extremely triggered and once again, I despise people like this because just watch the fucking video. If you're not gonna watch the video, don't even comment. So it's by Tia Kaigi, some shit like that. I have no clue. I, I don't even fucking know. So uh, I'm gonna play the clip where I say before you guys comment anything, make sure to listen thoroughly and you know, and then after, if you wanna say whatever you want, that's okay. That's, that's fine by me. Like, I don't care if you judge my point of view in a negative way or a positive way, just do what you gotta do. I'll even pop that up for you guys right now for proof. I just wanna say something really quickly before I begin this video, if you guys are from TikTok, you guys are most likely a little bit pissed off. I'm gonna explain everything, so without you disliking or commenting anything negative, watch the video thoroughly and then come to the conclusion of what you still believe or maybe would change your mind. And if you have the same opinion as you did originally, that's okay. I just want you guys to hear me out because this is not what you may think it seems to be because it's, uh, well, the story's got a little bit twisted, let's just say that. This is crazy. She starts off by saying, I can't even watch the whole thing, because I'm getting secondhand embarrassment. Sweetheart, um, correction, you're getting first-hand embarrassment, because, uh, in order to get secondhand embarrassment, the first person has to get embarrassed. So, um, <laughs> I don't know what to fucking tell you about that. Even if you were doing it for fun or whatever, this guy has a life where people constantly hate on him for anything, and you're enabling that so please check yourself okay i understand her point of view but then again i fucking said watch the video at least watch half of the fucking video and then put to your conclusion of what you think god jesus um and i even apologized and I, you know i said maybe there was some things i said that was immature and came off the wrong way so like it just makes you look stupid you know what i'm saying and then i said what you have is First hand embarrassment, smack to the face. I am not embarrassed of the situation at all, and clearly you haven't seen the whole video because I say before you comment anything, make sure to thoroughly watch the whole video and then form your own opinion. Then she replies, because we have the keyboard warriors, they're fucking legends, and you know what legend has it, they're fucking legends. I can't waste my time watching your whole video because nothing can justify posting that insensitive video and you're boring as fuck. I can't stand the video. Well, I'd like to say otherwise. I think I'm quite entertaining. I mean, you know, that's a very biased fucking opinion of mine because it's me. Like, what the fuck? This is what, this is where I know if somebody has intelligence or not, if they're lacking mental knowledge or not, because you talk about how you can't watch the video, I'm boring as fuck, whatever your reasonings are, but you can't sit here and say, I can't judge justify something when in fact I can it's not that serious so I replied back to her and I was like if you can't waste in quotations your time on the video don't spew inaccurate information because you don't want to watch the video and that's a fact if you don't want to put in the work to at least watch the video or you know skip ahead to you know there's a risk you might fucking miss some of the important details and information i disclose or talk about but you know if you don't want to waste time you know skip a little bit and, and watch and you know see my point of view on what i was talking about if i apologize or what i said what i wanted to say what i didn't say and you know all that shit then don't fucking comment <laughs> like you got time she says she can't waste her time but she wastes her time anyways because she comments on the fucking video we have a video I made, it's called Bryce Hall Natty or Not slash Physique Review. It's something I've uh, started doing. I've only done two so far, and two of them has been on TikTokers coincidentally, but I'm gonna start doing more because that video did really good. It's at uh, 1.4K at this current moment. So yeah, I you know really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, I got a lot of positive comments on that video, but there was this one guy in particular, this one guy in particular. His name or her name is I don't even know how to fucking say that. Is uh, Jade? Is Jade? So I'm, I'm a, I don't know. Is is it a Jade? Uh, are you a girl? I don't I don't know. But anyway, your voice. Well, you voice. Correction. I mean, the grammar is a little bit uh, fucked up on your end, but uh, it's okay. I'll uh, I'll forgive you for that one. Your voice is fucking annoying. Okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Or like jealous 
of are like like jealous of Bryce. You sound it ha ha you kid chill you per man. <laughs> what the fuck did I just read, bro? Anyway, uh guys, I did a video called Did Michele Marone take steroids for his role in 365 days? You guys know that movie, you guys know that actor, it's uh, you know, a good looking, sexy male, you know, he's a very good looking guy. Uh, he did a movie called 365 Days, it's uh, oh wow, it's, uh, it's a scene of its own, I gotta tell you, there's a lot of scenes in there that makes me, uh, woo. There was a comment by a girl, her name is Gabby. So, I talk about like, guys, a lot of people can achieve this physique, you just gotta work out, and you know, it is obtainable in the natural range, but you know, and then I you know, go into it, and I guess she caught up with that, and then said, it's called working out, sir, you guys should try it. She, so she implies you guys. So, it's questionable if this is a hate comment. I don't even know what it is. Um, I, I don't fucking know. This is by far the best one I have ever seen in my life. I, I promise you, you're not gonna, you're, you're not gonna regret it. Alright, you're not gonna regret watching it. So, in the, this is why Lex Little is on steroids. Guys, I know. I talked about it already. I talked about some of the hate. But you guys need to hear this. This is insane. I swear to God, if I don't have the funniest comment section, on YouTube, then I don't know who does because this is insane, and I, I just want to—I just want to point out—it's it, absolutely hilarious. So it starts off with a guy or a girl. Again, I don't know because there's no profile pictures. That's how a lot of the hate comments start off to begin with, anyways. But you know, Charlie Sadek, Sadek, or some shit like that. Um, and basically, this person says you're not. And, and guys, listen, it, they start off like a whole dialogue of their own. Like it goes from talking about Lex Littles on Sarah to me, accusing me of like copying Philion and being Philion and being a Philion wannabe and you know, a whole bunch of shit. And they start going into a bunch of random shit. It's hilarious. So by Charlie said tech or some shit like that, you're not Philion, you're not funny. And you don't get to say whether somebody is natty or not when your max sumo is 365. Again, I mean, that was months ago. I'm pretty sure my max sumo is probably more. Um, and again, I don't fucking do powerlifting, so I don't fuck your problem is because at the same time, listen guys, I can promise you right now that most powerlifters at my age, all right, and I'm not trying to call out anybody. I'm just, you know, stating facts. Most powerlifters at my age, I arguably look better than them. Physique wise, because I do bodybuilding. I focus on my physique. I focus on proportions. I focus on aesthetics, crew aesthetics, guys. Like, the fuck does it matter for my 365 deadlift? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I said, never wanted to be Philly on. Pretty funny. Last time I checked, I'm not a powerlifter, and my max is pretty irrelevant to the content that I make, and that is a fact, okay? So. Let's, uh, let's continue. He replies, it's relevant because if you actually knew the proper technique and how to program for strength, you would have a better idea of what's achievable naturally. You don't have a clue. Watching you deadlift makes me wonder if it was your first time in the gym or not. Okay, I'll respect that opinion. All right, fine. Uh, I said, a simple solution to your anger towards me is just to not watch my channel. You choose whether or not you watch my videos, but obviously I bother you for some reason, so thanks for watching them. I mean, you gave me the view, anyways. And then, you know, you know, people are, you know, I, this guy's a keyboard genius, I gotta tell you. He is a keyboard fucking mastermind because he says, Ain't no anger, dog. And he's trying to be cool, like, yo, dog. There ain't no anger over here, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, ain't no anger, dog. And yes, you are trying to be Philly on. You use the this is why so and so is on steroids title, and you're trying to be funny, comical. I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh, come on, man. Be original. Also, this is your first vid I've watched, and trust me, I won't be watching anymore. All right, listen. I would say that that title was inspired by Philion, not copied by Philion. Because if you see his titles back then, they were called Here's Why So-and-So Was On Steroids. I didn't want to take that because me personally, I don't want to grab somebody's, like, title or, like, I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, so I rearranged it in my way, uh, and you know, guys, that's, I wouldn't say that's copying, I'd say that's inspired by, I mean, what the fuck do you want me to do? There's a millions of content creators that come up with titles and ideas and this and that, there's only so much you can do, so in my way, I kind of just grabbed that title and got inspired by it and, you know, rearrange it to my kind of way of how I would say it, you know what I'm saying? So. You can't really hate me for that. Let's let's be honest. And to be honest, if I didn't rearrange it to that title in specific, it probably wouldn't even have gotten as many views because the title is so like demanding. This is why, you know, like so guys, you can't hate me for, you know, taking advantage and trying to get a couple of extra views, you know? So <laughs> this person said Rigo the kid and and let me tell you um, these people are defending me, but then they like start going on out like, oh my god, it, it's insane. This guy says, bitch, you're just a hater. I bet you think all sad songs are copied by XXXTentacion, lol. 
and Prime Giveaway Lex is sponsored by Gymshark. Uh, then he replies again saying, I don't understand what's your deal, bozo. It's in the same name. Uh, Gymshark is what you call a dude selling roids at the gym. And then he replies back, the Charlie guy, he says, Yeah, you're a fucking idiot. He copied Philion's title, the premise of steroid videos, and tried to be funny just like Phil. Also, if that's your physique, I'm sorry, but you look like a bag of marshmallows. I'd have to say otherwise. Then, um, that guy replied again, that Rigo the Kid, he said, Can you get a job or not? Nah? And bro, I'm a boxer. I'm not out here trying to look strong. I'm too busy being strong. This, yo, this, this is like, it's gonna get insane. Just, just give me a minute. Bear with me. Now this guy, Charlie, replied back. And I didn't even see these until months later. I started laughing so hard. This kid replies back, he's like, Rigo the Kid, ah, so that's why you're so fucking stupid. Maybe if you didn't get hit in the head so, so much, you'd have an idea of what's achievable naturally. Dur, dur, Gymshark steroids, dur, dur. So he's kind of mocking him. And then this kid, Rigo, replies back to Charlie, lol, I have uncles who were in the gym back in the 90s. And they had a nickname for the Walking Hercules statue trying to sell steroids to them. They called those type of dudes gym sharks. And uh, Rigo also says, Oh, I'm gonna stop. I just realized <laughs> you got no links to your IG, no subs, no playlists, no likes. Good and may the good Lord bless you with employment. And then I said, preach, son. Like, I was just fucking around. Like, I'm just trying to, like, rile them up. You know what I'm saying? Then Charlie's like, cruise sticks. You better the man saying a gym shark is someone selling roids at the gym. Yeah, your latest vid is be a visionary. Literally, gym shark's motto, LMAO, seems a little hypocritical there, bruh. You are fake as shit. And if, if, if gym shark offered you a sponsor, you would drop to your knees and never say another word about being natty or not. Okay, so I actually wanted to uh, reply to this, but I never got the chance to. So... The only reason why I did that is because when you, uh, like, especially when you want to make cool edits and shit like that, guys, it's, it, like, dude, it's just, like, you want to have, like, a, a certain uh, idea to catch the audience, you know what I'm saying? And I thought, I'm like, okay, what could this video be? Because I didn't want to just random, like, epic music video and just, like, no, like, premise of, like, what it could go by and just, like, you know, a cool little catch right to it. So, I just put Be A Visionary because, you know, I, I think that was a really cool title that Gymshark has always, you know, had, right? A cool little motto. So, yeah, I just did that and it's not really to, like, get an eye for Gymshark. I just did it because, you know, kind of an idea of, like, oh, this is uh, called Be A Visionary, let me watch it. And then it's just, like, you know, a cool little, like, design with, like, everyone wearing Gymshark and we're working out, epic music. I thought it was cool. Um, not trying to, like, outsell myself or some shit to Gymshark, like... I know I'm not gonna be a fucking Gymshark athlete. I mean, my guy, I call out the fucking Gymshark athletes. I'm pretty damn sure I'm not gonna be a Gymshark. I'm fine with that, trust me. I'd rather be a fucking alpha lead. Charlie says, Rigo the Kid, you and your uncles have no clue. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they're talking about, it's so funny. So then Charlie's like, damn, still on this? Get a life. And then he replies, Charlie replies to Rigo, says, the kid, bro, why is your picture a 40 inch waist? Holy hell, I don't know what the, I mean, I guess he changed his profile picture. I don't, I don't. Then Rigo says, your Instagram, Charlie, said tech, or whatever the fuck, uh, is 11, cause I swear you ain't shit, boy. Your chin looks mighty soft and your face looks like you never fought in your life besides fighting with your parents about allowance. And then Charlie replies back, and I, this is almost done, guys, but this is fucking hilarious. I have to say this to you guys, all right? And I know some people are gonna get bored and click off, but I have to fucking just take this and put this out in the world, cause this is fucking hilarious. Charlie replies, he's like, oh, creeping on my gram now, are we? What makes you think I can't fight just by looking at pictures? Just because I'm white, are we racially profiling now? I'll give you a hint, boy. Don't ever assume someone can or can't fight based on looks. That's how you get your fucking shit tossed. Just because I'm not Mexican and I don't go to the gym a couple times a week and to hit the back and pretend I'm a boxer doesn't mean I can't fight. Also, I... Oh my god, he went there. He went there. He said, also, show your mama them grand pics of me. I'm trying to become your father so I can continue to teach you. Oh my god, bro. And then it gets insane. It gets even more insane. We're almost done. He replies back, Charlie. Lol, what is with the racial shit, LMAO? I bet you think Trump is racist, too. Now they're going to politics. See, they go from, like, Lex Little Natty or Not to fucking me and saying I'm weak as fuck or I look like a bag of marshmallows. 
to I'm a boxer, I'll beat you up, and Trump, and like, racism, this is fucking hilarious. Well, whatever is going on in that troll brain of yours, if you want to get a spar, then feel free to come down to South LA. I'll be around here somewhere, just hit me up. And then Charlie replies to him, okay, I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be sure to travel to LA to beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. I wanted to give that comment section alone because that has to be one of the best common arguments on my videos of all time. So for that, thank you so much. You gave me a laugh and I hope you guys thought that was funny. Guys, it's your boy Crew Aesthetics, Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics. We're at 3,000 subscribers. Let's get to 4,000. Let's do this shit, all right? I'm almost monetized on YouTube, by the way, so that means I can put ads soon on my videos and you know, start making some moolah. So guys, Thank you so much for everything, guys. I really appreciate you guys. You guys mean a lot, and, you know, you're the reason why I keep going, and I'm going to keep going. I'm never going to stop. I promise you guys. So, guys, without further ado, make sure to like this video. Do what you got to do. Subscribe, notification bell. You already know what to do, guys. Share. Just help your boy out. All right, once again, it's your boy Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics. Hey, by the way, keyboard warriors, I love you. My fans, too. You guys are even more important. All right, guys. See you. Peace.